Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. It's the end of May. I don't know how that happened. I just think, and I know I say it at the end of every month, the month went really fast, can't believe it's already the end of the month, I'm about to start a new month, but you listen. I feel like, because I was in Spain for the first week of May, and I just feel like that was ages ago. Kind of was ages ago. I have a lot of products that I need to talk to you about. Are you ready? So these are the things what I have loved in the month of May. People going to say April, May. Okay, first up. Let's talk about <laughs> um, Okay, so this is the Jo Malone Woods Agency salt. Is it Eau de Toilets? It's clones. And I bought this last year in Alicante when we were there. I was just like, oh, I just think I love it. Because I smelt it on the way over to Spain in the airport. And I was like, oh my God, it does feel very, very sophisticated. And look, like I'm halfway through already. And like for me, that's good. Like considering that I have loads of perfumes in my stash. So I use this in the summer because there's just, okay. And I'm crap at describing scents, okay? But just bear with me. Woods Agency Salt. How would I describe this? I would describe this as it like evokes feelings of a Hampton Beach that I have never been on. And like whitewashed wooden fancy things and stuff. And like, do you know, if you want to be like Emily Thorne in Revenge, and like give everybody all like squinty eyes and talk like this and then when you hug them be like oh hi and then you hug them and then you go oh, you. or I don't know I just I don't know it just makes me feel real Hamptonsy real beachy like I should be wearing like white flowy clothes that I haven't spilled anything on and my hair is like blown in the breeze and not sticking to my lip gloss I feel like that <laughs> Like, I will never be that person. But when I spray this, I am for a good 10 seconds. <laughs> um, I love this scent. It's really fresh. It's really... What is this? <laughs> it's really beachy. And, yeah, go smell it. Woods Agency salt. Lovely. Okay, now, if you're not mad into the whole perfume situation... I, apparently, this makes me want to breathe heavily. This is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Intense Body Lotion. Okay, so I brought this away to Spain with me. Oh my god, like I can't even cope. Do you know the smell of the Moringa um, cleansing balm? That's what this smells like, but in body lotions. So on nights when we were going out in Spain, I didn't want to put perfume on. I just like slathered this on and then just be like, oh, I smell lovely. And then I would just like make everybody smell my arm and just enjoy my scent. Love it. And also it makes your skin feel really soft and smooth and nourished and hydrated and everything. But it smells divine. This is part of a travel set. And I think the travel set has this and a mini age face cream and the rose hip exfoliating seeds which are deadly like in a good way brilliant and the moringa cleansing balm and a face cloth such good value i think it's around 40 45 euro this is going to last me for ages because you only need a little bit and it just smells lovely okay if you've been following me on snapchat you'll know that my nail polish of the month has been this one from catrice <sighs> Now the only thing is it's part of their limited edition um, denim divine or divine denim collection but maybe you might be able to find something similar to it. This is called Comfort Fit. Looks like this little square bottle with the um, rose gold square top and I've been loving it with the CND Vine Lux Weekly Top Coat. These two I'm not wearing today. No. Would have been a good idea to put them on wouldn't it? So I did a little experiment over on Snapchat where I applied two coats, is it two or three? Two or three of this, and then put a coat of this over the top and I applied it on a Sunday morning, or Saturday, Sunday morning and I got until Friday, yeah, Sunday morning and I got until Friday night when I had to take it off because I needed to refresh my nails for the next day. That is unheard of for me because I am a lure for picking up my nail polish and if one chip appears, I'm just like, um, I think these are the match made in heaven. I think this is my new favourite top coat. Like Sesh Venus Grand. It dries really quickly, gives a shellac finish, but um, it peels off like in one go. I enjoy that. You might not enjoy that. But this gives the exact same finish, the shellac finish. It takes a little bit longer to dry. Be grand like. Um, but my nails looked like shellac attacked for the whole week. Not right now. This colour is lovely. I have a blog post on this. Go look at it. Very into my nude nails. It's real chic. I feel real like, mm -hmm, I'm so chic. <laughs> I'm not chic at all. I'm not, I'm not. Um, yes, the Catrice, go on. So this is the Catrice Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara. Now, I think that there are a few mascaras in the um, Glam and Doll range, I think. Because there's this one, this is a lilac one. And then I believe that there is a, like a, a Cerise pinky one. And then a blue one. 
potentially a black one, I'm not sure. This is the business. I don't know about the other ones, I haven't tried them. I love this. I have been wearing this pretty much every day for the last month or so. Lads, for 4 50 I think this is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried in my life. And because it's only 4 50 I can buy a backup or two, even though I'm on a spending man. I need to have this with me at all times. And look, it has one of those bendedy brushes where the flat part you use to coat your lashes and you can kind of comb them up a little bit and then the bendy part that holds more product so you can use that for the outer corners to give like real <laughs> lashes oh i'm obsessed with this i'm gonna do yeah i'll show you before and after photos of that because i think everybody needs to try that doesn't flake doesn't smudge stays put all day and in case you're wondering if you already had makeup on from the day and then came home and then had your dinner and then wanted to apply makeup for filming this goes on over um dry mascara really nicely it does i'm such a dirty bitch i can't help it on the way over to spain i decided that i needed a new eyebrow product and so i got one did i buy the urban decay brow beater no because i love it that would have been a normal thing to do i tried something new this is mac fling eyebrows i think fling is the shade because i remember seeing who talks about like i think fleur de force talks about lingering which is the same range as this but a different color but fling is look at my eyebrows like are they not magnificent? The only thing that I don't like about it is that when you twist it up, you can't twist it back down. So you just need to twist it as you go and it's brilliant. I just have not, oh, my eyebrows are really crap. But I don't feel like I've had a bad eyebrow day since getting this. But yeah, it's pretty reasonable. It's about 17, 17 euro or so. Love it. As I said, I'm in the shade Fling. Lingering is a darker colour, but for like bridies like us, see, I don't like to have like two like mad eyebrows. So, so I usually like to go for the blonde shade in an eyebrow product. Magnificent, magnificent. <laughs> it's like it has a tip like the Anastasia Beverly Hills and like the Urban Decay Brow Beater. Now it's twisty up, it doesn't have a spoolie as well. That's yeah, sort that out, Mac. Spoolie, twisty up, twisty down thing, and then then this will be the be all and end all, even though it really got is anyway. I actually would genuinely repurchase this because nothing else out there that I want to try. Next up is lips and I've been loving this lip liner. This is the Clarins, um, what is it called, lip liner in the shade number two, Nude Beige. It is nude and it is beige and it is gorgeous. It's one of those matte lip liners. So what I do is, and I have it on today, is I outline my lips and I colour in my lips. And I think I filmed a video just with that on the lips and it's really nice. So you can put a gloss over the top. But what I've been doing is putting this over the top. This is from Kiko and it is the Mirage Lip Stylo, I think. And it is in the shade, oh no, it's in the shade Mirage. And it's this. I loved, I bought this in Barcelona last month and I fell in love with it so much. I don't know if you can see how much I've used. Wow. <laughs> That's really dramatic. Like I'm down to there. That's mad for me. And I loved this so much that I went and I bought a backup when I was in Alicante and I bought a Carl shade as well. God, that's what I do. It has a magnetic closure. And it's lovely. It just gives like really nice glossy pigmented finish to the lips. It's really comfortable, really moisturising and I am seriously in love. I just wish Kiko would come here. Just wish they would. But then if I, they were then I'd be broke. Broker. So next up is this eyeshadow palette from Fuchsia. It is called Nudes Take Two. I don't know if there's a take one. I don't know. I was at the Image Awards back in March and this is in the goodie bag. Oh lads, it is gorgeous. I have it on my eyeballs today. Do I have a blog post on it? I don't think I do. Do you know what? I might actually do a video on this showing different looks that you can create. What my kind of go-to look is, I take this shade, it's called True Romance, for her to see, and I apply it into the crease as my transition. And then I take Pink Earth and I apply it on the outer corner and right into the crease to define the eye. And then I wet my brush and I use ginger snaps all over the eyelid. <laughs> Done. Sometimes, if I'm feeling wild, I will apply Smoky Plum onto the outer corner as well. And it's lovely. It's a really, really gorgeous palette. It has a, a nice long mirror, it has the seven shades, and what else do I have to say? I like the fact that it doesn't take up space, you know, having one of those applicators. No, give me bigger eyeshadows, don't be giving me those things that I'm going to lose anyway. Um, I enjoyed that part. What else? Oh yeah, so I wore this to Ellen and Conrad's wedding. I didn't have to touch it up at all. It didn't crease, it didn't fade, nothing. But because I have really oily eyelids, I always have to prime my eyeballs. So once you prime your eyes, apply this, it stays put all day. So when I was saying to you that I like to apply some eyeshadow sweat, this is what I use and this is what I've been loving. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and you can either apply, okay, it's a few ways you can apply it. So 
So what you could do is if you have a cleansed face and right before you go to apply your foundation, you could go let it sink in and then apply your foundation. Or you can use it over the top of your foundation to kind of help set it and refresh your face. Or <laughs> you can get your brush, spray it on top of the, like, hold on, where, give me a brush. So let's say this is the eyeshadow brush. You can spray it like that and then dip it into the eyeshadow. Brilliant. And it helps the eyeshadow go on really pigmented. And um, if you have a shimmery eyeshadow, it gives it a metallic finish. Like, look. Yeah, I know, it's really nice. And um, yeah, a little goes a long way. Just and it doesn't have it has one of those really nice mists. You know the way sometimes you get face sprays and it just goes <laughs> and you just like this gives I'm not gonna put it on now because otherwise I'll just look sweaty. So to talk about a few non makeup y products. So first of all, I love this. This is my passport holder. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's from Bando and it says, I'm out of here. It should say bitches on the back, but it doesn't. And um, yeah, and you can obviously you sit your passport in there and you can like put your tickets in there if you would like or fold them in there put it in there i really like that and i bought this for me for christmas and then i bought joanne one and man one for christmas and everybody who sees that's like oh my god i love it so much got it on hippenings.com bought it myself i love that it just means like your passport is protected and you can find it in your bag you know the way because like if you're traveling and you are like me and dump a lot of stuff into your handbag it could be hard to get um at things but i could see this i could feel it i love it Okay, let me tell you a story. So I went out to Kildare Village last summer, oh, last summer now, with, um, on a vlogger's day out. And I'd seen, I just, I'd seen so much in Kate's Bait. Oh my God, I, I love everything in there. Don't even, I was there over the weekend. So many nice things. Um, so I saw this wallet, but they had it in navy. And I was like, no, I've got to be very, very like practical and get navy because I'd be very serious for my money and all of my things. So I got navy. And then on the way home, I was like, I should have gotten the neon yellow. And then when Joanne and Mam and I were out in Kildare Village before Christmas, I saw this. No, I didn't. I saw the bigger one. And I was like, oh my God, you remember in the summer and I saw that? And they were like, no, we were there. And I was like, oh yeah. So I asked the girl, they're so helpful in there and they're so friendly and they know when to like help you and when to like leave you alone to look. So I asked the girl if they had the bigger wallet in this size and she went and she had a look and then they did and I love it. So just, oh wait, that's my, my, my um, not my passport, my driver license. But I just... It's just, it's like such a summery purse. So my money can be happy in there. I just love neon. When it comes to summer, I love neon. I love color. I love everything. Like, look at this. I put this here on purpose. This is the DK on my perfume. I'm a blog about that soon. But my purse is neon yellow. It makes me happy. And I love that it's so structured. I love that I haven't dirtied it yet or scraped it. Yeah, because I've been using this just for the month of May so far. I love that. Okay, it's bad, I swear to God. You're going to have me broke. I'll have all the wallets, but I'll have nothing to put into it. And the final thing that I wanted to talk to you about are my shades. Got them in parfois. Look at me. Am I very cool? Usually I can't wear wayfarers like this because they sit right on my cheeks and they make me look like this. So Joanne bought these in the airport going over to Spain, in Dublin airport, in parfois. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'd like them. And then I tried them on. We got over to Spain. And I was like, yeah, no, I think I would like them. Then we found loads of parfoises over there, couldn't find it. And then on the last or second last day, I found them. I love the whole mirrored lens thing. I just think it's really cool, except they are a bitch to photograph. <laughs> I was trying to take photographs of it when we were in Spain. And honest to God, I think I took a good 80 to 85 photos because I was in the glasses going all the time. They were 12.95. I don't know if they're um, in stock here. I'm sure they are. If they're in Dublin airport, then they should be in the normal shops. But are they not? magnificent they are magnificent and um, yeah they're 12 99 in the airport so i don't know if they'd be a little bit more expensive in the shops here but love them and they gave me like a little pouch to go with it so those are the things that i've loved for the month of may if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you've loved for the month of may if there's anything here that you agree with or disagree with if you disagree we can't have some problems because i love them things okay thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye